Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. You know, you're being patient with yourselves as well as, you know, learning more about yourself and learning and, you know, engaging more, embracing your gift, which is, you know, a true blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you feel comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love a chance for you to get to know me as much as I'm get, trying to get to know you. And uh, even if it's about the, the positive feedback about the video or as well as you're telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good information or good vibes um that you know that a fellow empath needs to hear as well please go ahead and share and also give me a thumbs up like and also share on uh your social media is wherever you see fit as well as thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support and i hope you're able to um resonate with the content of my video and as usual you know i said i was gonna go ahead and post my daughter's website she has like 20 days left so um i'm just gonna go ahead and help her out for another week or so just to help her you know get on her goals so she's almost there so if you can go ahead and help her donate towards the book that she's trying to publish with different collaborators for her poets and painters and are just artists all together they're collaborating and you know putting all their stuff in, in a book it'll greatly be appreciated today this beautiful meditation i'm using is cleanse your mind 852 hertz eliminate destructive negative energy fear and overthinking i definitely needed that today y'all i've just been educating myself on more because i know i did a kundalini video like probably a year ago but I was just going through it again and it's crazy when you're going through the death of an ego and um like going through kundalini uh, awakenings at the same time and it was just like so many different things can transpire to that time you know and it, it was just like god oh, there's so many things but I said I wanted to make sure I got them right because I know my other video was different you know I did that probably about a year ago and um it was just going through all these different things of knowing uh, you're going through a Kundalini awakening and we all got to go through it. It's like, uh, uh, you know, different experiences with our body as well as, you know, I don't know if it's like, doing, you know, it's just like regenerating our DNA and all this crazy stuff that is going on. Um, it's, and this lady had wrote an article about it. And she's went into depth about different things that you might go through and you might be experimenting uh, experiencing too as well you know i really don't like reading off of my phone but just to make sure i'm getting it accurate i do read some stuff every once in a while just to make sure you know hey i don't want to tell y'all the wrong thing or whatever but you know a lot of people are like asking me hey Rosalind, what did this happen but you know sometimes you know i always tell y'all you know go ahead and google it just you know just to get further you know details about situations because it's like you know i tell y'all the things that i'm going through and the things that i've looked up and you know educate myself with and you know i'm just passing it on to y'all as well it says things are falling apart and you have a nervous breakdown or your old life isn't working you know it just feels like you know anything that you're trying to do that you usually do on a regular basis is like it's not motivating you anymore sometimes you don't feel like doing it you feel like you know you feel like you're lost in despair going through that is not easy it's like things that you don't you do before is not a pleasing you know appealing to you anymore and i mean there's times i've done that too because that you know like i was uh what if you've been with me for a while you would know that i took off a month during the christmas holidays because i was going through so much and it was like universe sources tell me you know what you, you're gonna get burnt out if you don't take a break and take care of yourself you're taking care of everybody else but when it came time for yourself you didn't have that much to give back so it it, it just really messed me up and it says um physical and emotional energetic symptoms um 
it, it says that you go through anxiety, depression, and despair, but many people seek very obvious signs, shaking, visual disturbances, inability to relax, a major rush of energy, near-death experiences. It says the nervous system is unable to handle the amount of energy that is wanting to move. This also can show up in a uh, uh, myriad of ways, miniature of ways. Uh, for some people, the experience is slow and steady, and for others, intense and immediate. And the important thing is to not obsess over the symptoms, but find ways to dis uh, to allow the energy to move by healing your body and opening up to channels of energy. Don't focus on particular symptoms, but find ways to heal the body and release the blocks. Uh, courage, willingness to uh, and desperation to try new things. You know, you with me, I got ADD, so I can't constantly keep doing the same thing over and over again because repetitive, it'll irk my nerves. So it's just like there's sometimes I, I go for a walk, then I come in here, do my videos, then I sing for a while, or then I'll uh, go ahead and take me a nap. Because sometimes it's like lately I haven't really been taking a nap, but the last couple of days I've been having to. And I'm just like, oh gosh, what's wrong with me? I haven't been really motivated to really do anything. And that's not me. But going through all these things at the same time can really be aggravating. It says the intensity of these experiences will often be enough to drive people to try to do new things. People seek changes in diet, seeking out healers, leaving relationships, changing jobs, all done in an attempt to respond to what is happening on the inside. Um, okay, it says miracles and synchronicities appear and you receive support from unexpected places. I mean, it's just like when I've been meditating and I go to source and say, you know, I need new content for myself. Uh, what can I give my extended family? Because this is my outlet as well as theirs. You know, we feel like we're alone at times. We feel like we're going crazy. Our world is falling apart. We're trying to get understanding, especially if you're a Heyoka. We investigate everything. <laughs> you know, we investigate everything. And it's just like, you know, when I find uh, more people that are like-minded like me is is really a blessing because you know you're not going through it by yourself. And it's, you know, it feels good when I get that same kind of response from y'all you're like Rosalyn I'm just so glad I found somebody that I can relate to you're telling me about my life you know now it, you know lets me know I'm not going crazy or I'm not alone I'm, you know because it's hard for you to be able to talk to somebody that's not going through all these situations they'll be looking at you like you're crazy so it's just a good thing when you can um express yourself to somebody that is like-minded like you that you're going through you know another impact to another one if you try to tell somebody who is not sensitive Energetic, like I say, energetically sensitive towards things. They're going to look at you like you're crazy. Like, you need to go see a therapist. I already feel like if I go see a therapist, I need to go see somebody who is spiritually gifted as me. Because if not, they're going to be trying to lock me up. <laughs> you know, so I can't do that. So, you know, we're able to get support from different places. Like, you get them from my videos. You get them by Googling things, you know, going through different things. You, you meditate, you get your answers from source. When, you know, mine, it'll come out with some words. Like, I can see a lot of words in my head, but there'll be certain things that'll just really come out to me. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, because I kept on hearing Kundalini, Kundalini, and um, death of an ego. And I'm just like, why are these things popping up in my head? Next thing you know, I start reading up on them. I'm like, oh, this is the reason why I'm going through it. So it's just, um, is just really crazy and it says increased a sense sensitivity towards um external things food media people and places like i don't watch tv as much as i used to and when i do it could be a rapid uh emotion like i i can be watching something and like even though these people are going through a certain situation but overcame it all of a sudden i'll, I'll start from having tears of joy or when somebody is talking about their past and it was very upsetting i will go through a crying spell like oh my god what is happening to me and i'm feeling stuff through you know through tv media whatever so i've just really cut myself off from doing too much you know tv or whatever i usually watch my videos or you know sometimes i love horror movies so it doesn't really it you know, there's some things I get really sensitive about now, but it's like a coping mechanism, so I don't go out and do something stupid. So I tell people, they're like, Rosalind, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I don't want to go to jail. Orange is not the new black for me. So I'd rather watch somebody get hacked up on TV, and it'll be all right. And people are looking at me like, that's crazy. I'm like, look, my whole life has been a nightmare, okay? It's been like a horror movie that I cannot wake up from. So 
watching video, you know, not watching like snuff films. I ain't talking about something like that, but just going through like uh, watching Halloween or Friday the 13th. I laugh at Friday the 13th because I think some of that stuff is funny, but um, I guess because I grew up on that stuff. So, you know, it's really, uh, it's really, uh, um, it's like a coping mechanism for me. And it's like more of my food. I've been eating a lot of fruit, like more fruit when I can get access to it. So I try to eat like uh, strawberries, grapes, oranges, apples. I love apples. Um, kiwi if it's seasonal. You know, it's different stuff like that. And it's, you know, even they say you can't watch violent videos or around large crowd of people. I cannot. <laughs> it's like if I go shopping, I have to go, like, go to one of those stores that's like 24 hours. Because I can't be around a large group of people. I get very agitated. Awareness of internal energies, intuition, and inner truth. Not only are we more aware of what's happening around us, but we can become more sensitive and in tune to the thoughts, feelings, and energies within us. We know when our old habits are starting to sound uh, enticing or our heart is beginning to shut down. We pay more attention to our intuitions and begin to develop relationships with our soul, our inner teacher, that other people say of say or think about us becomes less important to us i always felt like you know i used to do that i'm not gonna lie i used to always think of what people thought about me but when i started doing more of my inner healing towards myself going through these different stages of my life that is so new to me it, it was beautiful but it was scary at the same time i stopped caring about what people say because not everybody's gonna like you not everybody's gonna agree with you you know there's people that i have especially through my channel love me there's people that did not like me and i mean that's okay everybody has the right to their opinion so you go through all these different stages this is increase in compassion desire to be of service and recognition of oneness yes oh my gosh when you become more aware of ourselves we become more aware of the world around us our energy has healed through lower chakras and now can move into the heart chakra our compassion for ourselves leads to compassion for others. We wake up to suffering of others because of our heart has been open and we feel more uh, feel more intensity intensely and the naturally naturally leads to desires to help and to give others the help we received along the way. That's why I love what I do. I really do because it's like, oh I can fix this. You know, I try to be Mrs. Fix it towards any empath. And it's just like sometimes source will send me towards people that I didn't really know that was like me like that. But it's just like now since I'm more in tune with my gift, it it really helps out. You know, so I go through all these different things. You have uh you know, you have a sense of purpose and destiny. You know, you're going through all these things with Kundalini. You know, I feel more love for everybody. It's like when y'all come back and tell me all the things that you're going through and all this, I feel for you. I can feel the, like the sadness in your words, you know, the loss. You know, there's sometimes we feel lost because we don't know what the heck is going on. And we're trying to make sense of all the different things that we go through. But, you know, it's just like when you have going through these symptoms and you, you really want to relate to what is going on. Because it can be scary when you don't know what's going on. I had to really, there was nobody really telling me what was what I was going through. My dad had to, to pass away. And for me, for him to be constantly talking to my head, telling me where to go where to guide me to so I, it was a very good blessing for that when I'm having source and when I was not fighting myself on who my true self was that's when I got more answers I'm more in tune with the universe I'm more in tune with source you know I could be talking to somebody and say hey this is what we're going through or you know we're getting activated and these are the things I'm seeing so if you can relate to that you know it's a true blessing you know I wouldn't like I said I'm not trying to be reading off my phone because that's very unprofessional but if I want to make sure, you know, I'm telling y'all something, I want to make sure I'm telling y'all the right things. I don't want to lead y'all wrong way and then telling y'all something I really don't know. But, you know, I've been through these different situations. I've been to the point where if you've been with me for a while, you've seen me go through different rashes. You know, I got tingly, you know, I get tingles going all the way up and down my body. But like, ooh, just got another download. Ooh, 
ooh, I gotta go through another upgrade. So you're going through all these crazy different things that you're experiencing in life. And you know you have to go through this for you to be able to get to that higher level of consciousness, to be able to be the best version of yourself. Knowing that there's these things have to go on if you really want to be in tune with yourself. So um, I'm not going to give any shout outs because this video is already 15 minutes long and it's already going to take like three hours just for it to upload. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you truly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. Hit that notification button, even subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. And drop me a line. I'll love a chance to know if you're going through this as well. Much love. Peace. And be wild.